Good morning. Um, I finished the van. It's not totally finished, but it's definitely uh, livable. And I wanted to give you a quick tour of um, some of the features of it and some of the things I've done. Uh, obviously, you've never done uh, van life before, so this is the first for me. So that's why it's not fully finished because I still want to live in it and I want to see what I need and what I don't need, what kind of things I want in the van and what things I don't want. Um, but like I said, it's livable. So I'm going to give you a tour. Um, hopefully, this is just a quick one, high level. Um, so here we go. At the moment, I'm sitting in the dining room, lounge room, whatever you want to call it. Um, got some storage, which is obviously just some of my clothes. Some spare storage here. Got a PowerPoint, both 240 when I'm plugged into uh, campsite or mains. And then obviously USB chargers run off the 12 volt. I've got some down lights, reading lights. When I'm in, this folds into my bed as well. Um, obviously, these are this is the bed, so this is my, my seating cushions. It's 120 mil thick, um, memory foam. And these just sort of come in and fold down, and that forms the bed, which you guys have seen before. And we've got the remote control for the fan, and that controls obviously the fan circulation in and out. I've got my iPad or iPhone folder for when I'm watching YouTube or TV or Netflix or whatever, or movies. And just another light here, and just some storage, which I haven't figured out what to put in here yet, but I'll put something in there when I'm sleeping. All right, uh, the desk swivel desk. Obviously, that swivels around like such, and that's just controlled by that arm there. We got some storage under here, got some potatoes, some washing powder, and some spare diesel. And under here is obviously my um, inverter, 2000 watt inverter, my BMS system that manages my solar and my DC to DC charger as well. And let's connect to the batteries, which I'll show you in a second. Um, yeah, that's just storage. I put all my bed linen in there, so my sleeping bag, my quilt cover, um, my pillow I just put in here. Um, some of you might remember that the when you when I put insulation in the wall. The bed didn't was a bit small, didn't right come out to a double bed, so I had to knock in these um, sort of openings in in the walls, and that um, that's giving me 182 centimeters uh, head to toe, which is a lot nicer than um, 176 or 175 or whatever it was. All right, so some storage up here. So this is just storage for clothes and whatnot. Um, they've got latches and then these uh, little um, elastic tires for when I'm driving so nothing falls out. Same as with this one, just hold a bunch of clothes. And here is the control center, I guess. So I've got my battery management system. We're at currently 96%, um, nine hours until full. I'm just taking on some solar power at the moment. Not getting much. Um, and then not really drawing anything either. Uh, 0.4 of an amp, which is good. I haven't got anything plugged in. And we're in touring mode. Uh, my inverter, I can turn it on and turn it off from here. PowerPoint, again, if I need it. Uh, my switches for my control panel. Some outdoor lights and my water, my uh, wastewater and my freshwater gauges. Uh, under here is more storage, which I won't go into detail, but um, there's more storage under there. This is uh, my microwave position. We've got some paper towels. In here is my house batteries. I've got two 120 amp hour um, lead crystal batteries. I had, I did have, I thought I had an issue with them, but um, kind of got the batteries tested and troubleshooted it, and it all worked out well. Uh, the shower, I've got a full shower in this van, so um, shower and toilets, basin, uh, full toilet, cassette toilet, and then just some storage in here. 
toilet paper, shampoo and whatnot. Just a shower curtain at this stage. I haven't put one of those sliding doors because I don't know if I'm going to like van life. Storage utensils, a couple of drawers, paper towels, just more storage, all my electronics. Um, aluminium foil, blah, blah, blah. And you know what else is in there. More cupboard space, toaster, pans, and whatnot, rubbish bin. Yeah, my dirty rubbish. We didn't want to see that. Uh, my little pantry, just some little stuff up there. Uh, my kitchen, the bowl, salad bowl that I turned into a sink. My faucet and my kitchen table extension, which is really cool. So I was just an off cut from that. And I just extended it. Then we have more storage up here. I'll turn some lights on because it might be a bit dark in this area. So we have some more storage up here, just um, nicks and knacks, chopping boards and whatnot. I have my 240 um, breaker switch, double poled, um, my Wi-Fi if I, get, if I want to use it, um, and yeah, that needs to stay empty. I should, I probably should put a cover on there, but I just can't have it be bothered. Uh, and here is um, all my snacks and more food, pantry. Uh, there's a little chocolate bar in there as well, very cheeky. So that's that. And storage area. So I've got towels, a dirty laundry basket, um, um, 12 volt um, electric blanket, socks and undies, keep them separately so I can find them easily. Uh, bug out bags, which I haven't filled out yet. Um, some Tupperware, some more snacks. And then in here is... Um, my 24 hour um, food packs. I've got two of them in there, so I always take them with me when I go hiking and whatnot, in case of emergency. And yeah, so that's, oh, and the fridge. I've got the fridge up here, um, just a Waco fridge. And more charging points. Got the uh, carbon monoxide alarm, bit of a reading light. And down here, I installed, this might be a bit hard for two, uh, two hands, but I'll show you. Down here, I installed this heavy duty um, to chair. And basically, you can sit on it. And um, yeah, and you can use this for office space if I'm working on the laptop or if I just want, if I've got the bed set up and I still want to sit down, have dinner or whatever, I've got this uh, that can slide out into a seat. And then underneath here is more um, storage space for canned foods, more heavy items. So I'll show you that now. Uh, as you can see there, so I've got some equipment, um, some tuna cans and some more cans in there. And that's protected by a cargo net um, it, so it doesn't move around. All right, let's go outside. Okay, so from the outside, the garage, I guess you'd call it. We've got some headlamps, uh, if it's really dark, reversing camera. Um, obviously this all opens up into storage. My external gas bottle, um, fishing rods, and just slide some extra things in there. My hot water system, uh, my hose if I want to fill up my water tanks to storage, camp chair and whatnot. Um, and then this obviously is some more slide out drawer this also doubles as an outdoor table um, and obviously I can just put more stuff in here as well so some out, outdoor stuff uh, gas stove some fire lighters fire grill and then when I'm on campsite my 15 amp um, mains a cord some fishing rod gear and whatnot um, to go fishing okay we'll move to the front now, oh, um, hot water, cassettes, toilet cassette, freshwater inlet, and my 240 volt and 10 amp outlets, inlets and outlets. External gas bottle, connected to the hot water system, and then there's a, it's, it's, uh, you can have, I've got like a double adapter on there, and the cord comes out, connects to my gas bottle, uh, connects to my gas stove. Uh, so we go in the front Just a knickknacks my filters water filters when I'm filling up um, some budgie cord 
sunblock this is where I keep all my shoes uh, basically obviously he's got the mat there to protect it when it gets dirty um, so this is a bit of a stealth camp so I've blocked this off so it looks, you can't see through it and then we've got um, some safety gear um, fire extinguisher fire blanket first aid kits um, snake bite kit uh, under here some gloves some tarps uh, recovery gear uh, charges my battery goes flat and whatnot uh, pump to uh, let my um, inflate my tires and in here just sewing kit for emergencies um, what else oh the wine cellar very important shopping bags when I go shopping um, just some cables and whatnot some personal belongings and then behind here just some extra supplies so paper towels toilet paper and just a map of Australia so that's the van I'm ready to go so I head off tomorrow for an adventure the aim is to head up north it's obviously winter here in Australia at the moment we have two months left and kind of want to get away from this cold weather so heading up north as far as I can get and I hope you guys can join me on my travels.